Hi, Facebook fans. Pastor Sullivan here answering your questions with ATP Ask the Pastor. And today we've got a real tough one. Someone asks, Dear Pastor, my daughter was killed in a violent traffic accident while walking home from a party. Since God knows exactly how many days we will live, if my daughter had decided not to go to that party, would she have died some other way on that day? I suppose had she decided not to attend the party, another day of her passing would have been revealed to God. First, I'm terribly sorry that you have had to lose your daughter, and especially in this way. Uh, my wife and I have lost two children in the womb, and that was difficult enough, but to have had your daughter for as long as you had her, and then now to not, uh, and to have her taken from you in such a way, I can't even begin to imagine. So. I'm terribly sorry that that's befalling you. I think as we look at your question, um, I think we need to, to split things into two categories, if you will. Uh, the first is, the first category we'll call revealed God. Uh, God reveals himself solely through his word, uh, not in human feelings, emotions, not in a sunset, uh, not in our consciences, not in any way uh, except through his word. That is how he has revealed himself. That's how he's told himself about us. And so everything that we know about God from the word, we know with absolute certainty. And that is what we are to know. However, on the other side of things, the other side of the dichotomy is what we'll call a hidden God. Uh, the things that God judges and decides and plans um, that is not talked about in his word, uh, that is just done within his divine counsel of God, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, uh, things that he does not reveal to us. What this question is getting at is things of that second category, things of the hidden God aspect, uh, things that we're just not given to know in this life. Uh, for as much as the Lord does reveal to us, obviously your question um, and similar questions put us into a realm where God just has not revealed himself to us. What we do in a situation like that, when we kind of butt our heads up against the wall of the reveal or of the hidden God, excuse me, is to always go back to what God has revealed to us in scripture. Because when we start asking questions about, well, what does God do outside of his word? Uh, what does God decide in and of himself? Uh, we, like Moses, going up into Mount Sinai, enter the thick darkness where God is. Uh, so when we're tempted to ask these questions, and everyone is in the face of any sort of tragedy, you're not alone, uh, we must always direct our attention and our faith back to what God has revealed to us in his word, because only in what he has revealed to us in the word do we have any sort of certainty about ourselves before God and also our loved ones. The good news for you is that uh, what the Lord reveals about the death of his saints is that, like we talked about in the very first, I believe it was uh, ATP with the thief on the cross, uh, that the faithful, those who, who believe in Christ uh, as their mediator, as their savior from sin, and in faith hold to that for their salvation, they, uh, though dead in the body, are with Christ spiritually. And we know then that they will be raised on the last day as well to new life, body and soul put back together with them, and those who are living will join them, St. Paul tells the Thessalonians. So although your daughter is taken from you now, um, unexpectedly and unexplainedly, uh, she will be given back to you on the last day, just as all those who are in Christ by faith in his atoning sacrifice will be raised to life on that day. That's the Christian hope in the midst of death, uh, whether at the funeral, at the time of death, or years down the road. So we're all tempted to ask these questions about, well, what if, and what does God do outside of his word? And it's natural to do so. But when those thoughts come into mind, try to direct your thoughts and your faith always to what God has revealed to you in his holy word, because there you have certainty, because the word tells us about Jesus, our Savior, and our Redeemer. So, uh, thank you for the question. Very good, uh, very difficult question. Uh, if you have any other questions, you out there in Facebook land, make sure and email us at atpholycross at gmail.com and I'll answer your questions in the order that I receive them. Thanks for the question and until next time.